the new iPhone 15 is here. Yeah, totally legit copy. And today I'm here to convince you not to spend your hard-earned money. Let's face it, most of us don't need a new phone because chances are that the one we already have does everything we need, like calculating, communication, and media. In this video, we are going to discuss if it is time for you to upgrade or not. Part 1. Should I upgrade? Ignore the hype. Social media and the people around us often influence us on buying things without thinking too much about it. You need to remind yourself that after about two weeks, a phone is a phone. It happens to all of us. The honeymoon phase is great, you feel excited, but that feeling quickly fades away. It's the same with our cars, computers, TVs, our kids. Ah, no actually not our kids and most other material things so you need to evaluate your phone's performance to really see if you need to buy a new one there are three things that i feel are crucial in making that decision your phone's speed battery life and overall performance speed if your phone feels like a slug and you're often frustrated when using it that's a good indication to upgrade but remember that maintenance is important could it be that your phone is so damn slow because you haven't deleted videos like this battery life if the battery keeps dying in the middle of the day that's another indicator when your car's battery dies you replace it with a new one because you know that's the most cost-effective thing to do so why don't we do the same thing with our phones overall performance. And finally, if your phone doesn't do something that you really need, you need to think about upgrading. A good example would be if your phone isn't compatible with the newest OS version, or if the photos it takes look like the ones your grandmother posts on Facebook. If you have one of the three mentioned problems and it can't be solved, congratulations, you need a new phone. But wait, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to buy the new iPhone 15 just yet. Part 2. What should I upgrade to? What's your budget? Never go into debt to buy a new phone. A $400 phone is better than a $2,000 one if that's the one you can afford. Even if you have the $2,000, it's much better to have an emergency fund, so I would suggest not to spend all your savings on your new phone. Does it have to be the newest one? Phones, especially iPhones, are really built to last. My uncle has been using the same iPhone 6, I believe, for the last 10 years and it still seems to satisfy his needs. Consider upgrading to an older model. The iPhone 14 or 13 are only a fraction of the price they were last year and are still wonderful pieces of equipment that are going to get updates from Apple for many more years. Here's the iPhone 15. It costs $7.99 for the base model. For that money, you will get a phone with a nice camera, nice screen and everything else Apple has to offer. Here's the iPhone 13, the one I use. It costs $5.99 on Apple and closer to $3.50, used in perfect condition. For that money, you get a phone with a nice screen, nice camera, and everything else Apple has to offer. If we compare this old Huawei phone, how do you pronounce this name? Huawei? Huawei? I don't really know. I can't even remember using this phone, but I tried using it for a day as my main phone. And it really could do everything I needed for my job as a content creator. I used the YouTube Studio app, the most important app in my work, Monitor Plus, which is the app that I use to use my phone as a camera monitor. And honestly, every single thing I do on a day-to-day -day basis. The crazy thing is you could get this phone for about $50 used. So you see cost versus value when we're talking about phones is actually crazy. Do you have future needs? Are there any upcoming changes to your lifestyle or work where a higher end phone would make sense? Are you considering starting a new hobby like photography? Is your phone maybe your primary gaming device? If you have future needs, it might be wise to upgrade to a phone that already covers those or else you might be switching once again in the near future.
but you also might consider buying dedicated devices to do the job instead of a new phone. If you want to do photography, it would be wiser to spend the money on an interchangeable lens camera to start learning the basics about photography. Let's say the iPhone 15 Pro Max that you want costs $1500. For that money you could buy a new Sony a6400 with a nice zoom lens or several prime lenses. The image quality and control will be so much better than with your phone. You could buy a Nintendo Switch as your gaming device and get much better performance and original Nintendo titles. This is a bit off topic but I recommend playing Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. These games are straight fire. You could also spend the money on a complementary device to your iPhone like a MacBook, Apple Watch or iPad that will help you do a lot more things. With the iPad you get a much larger screen and the ability to use the Apple Pencil. With the MacBook you also get a much larger screen and virtually unlimited use cases. And with the little Apple Watch you get a device that does so many things for me that I couldn't even imagine not having it. Where the heck is my phone? So in conclusion, when should I upgrade? If your phone is too damn slow, has terrible battery life or doesn't do something that you want or need and these problems can't be solved, what should I upgrade to? Make a list of the things your phone needs to have, if an older model fits the criteria by that and if something else does the job better by that. I really hope this video was helpful and if not maybe entertaining. Please let me know in the comments how you handle your phone purchases. I would love to hear your ideas and strategies and maybe I can implement some of those in future videos. Subscribe here and hit that notification bell and here is more content on mindful buying, daily motivation and productivity advice. See you in the next video.